We got Gear 5 Luffy got that dog in him. Watch out, watch out. Wait, hold on. Was y'all really that damn excited, bruh? Anime. Woo! We love anime. Anime is tough, right? And that is because anime has said, right? They have people boxing. They have people playing football. Touchdown! Okay, hold on. If you're watching any anime about sports, you're actually slow, bruh. Just watch a sport. Have good and interesting stories that'll raise your IQ like 30 points. They have Minita for My Hero Academia, and they have people dying. So yeah, they have all that shit. But one great thing that anime has that also makes me levitate like five dimensions is anime transformations. Now I'm not gonna lie, anime has some very tough transformations. Facts, got facts. Goku turning Super Saiyan for the first time, which is really just him turning his hair color <laughs> and going up a little bit, but trust it's tough. Bro said, <laughs> and beat anime's most nefarious races of all time. So you know what I'm saying? That like amplifies the greatness of the transformation. When I saw Goku beat Frieza, it's like I saw Martin Luther King Jr. in him for a second there. Martin Luther Okay, buddy. Luther King Jr. He a monkey, but he not that much of a monkey. Against racism, they're practically the same person for real. There is no difference. What did he say? They also got Ichigo's full hollow transformation. And not gonna lie, if we're gonna keep it a buck, that transformation is like top five. Everything about the transformation was just tough. You can tell that Kubo had a good night's sleep before it was time to make that transformation. From what I know, this nigga is supposed to be the good guy. Why the fuck is he the devil? What the hell? And then the person that he be fighting is an angel. Mine is just so tough, bro, is drippy. So yeah, Goku turning Super Saiyan for the first time and Ichigo's full hollow form are two good examples of great anime transformation. There there are other great examples like Opium Ichigo. If it's the king, baby, I'm the fashion. And there is Jubito, but I believe that Monkey D. Luffy, one of his transformations are one of the best transformations of all time. Which does kind of make sense because Monkey D. Luffy is like the greatest character in all of fiction. No, I am not biased. Please stop. Gear 5 Luffy. Yes, sir. Now, Gear 5 Luffy is so tough. Oh my goodness. Bro, Luffy got clapped and died. But came back to life with dreads and started boxing. Now, before I fully cover Gear 5, I'm gonna go over every single Luffy transformation leading up until gear five and now i'm gonna touch gear five because it's tough Luffy is him and all his gears are add-ons to him being him so when we finally get to gear five gear five luffy is really just him quintupled him squared plus him cubed equals him quintupled basic elementary and rudimentary hemimatics <laughs> Now, first, we gonna start off with gear two. Now, if you don't watch One Piece, there is no gear one. This is gear one. Bro, that, it should be a gear one, though. This gear two. Woo -wee. Now, gear two, I'm not gonna lie, is a smooth little transformation. Bro, activates gear two and starts steaming in. She, visually, the transformation is all right, but you know he's about to fold some people, and that's low-key what a transformation is for, for real. A transformation <laughs> should do two things. One, it should make the person stronger, done it. And the other thing it should do, it should let everyone who's around the transformation and looking at the transformation know that that person is about a boom like when goku went ultra instinct against jiren you were like oh shit. because you knew he was about a boom people when mob mm -hmm. reached 100 you were like oh shit. because you knew he was about a boom people. if you don't get i don't know nothing about that seat feeling then that transformation was kind of chips i'm not gonna lie so although bro it's like i don't feel like i will get that oh shit feeling because this show is so kiddish bro it's kiddish to me bro you who doesn't look as cold as Ichigo's full hollow form it still is a tough transformation because you get that if you're fighting someone and they start steaming not gonna lie say goodbye and also gear 2 Luffy is also tough because that's when he starts moving mad fast bro upped his body temperature and started flash stepping bro just like Ichigo for real when blue note encountered gear 2 not gonna lie he could not handle it bro was out there struggling he was not built for all that you want to know who else wasn't built for all that but was low-key built for all that but turned out in the end to not be built for all that rob lucy lame man and not gonna lie this is also gonna bring me into gear three now essentially gear three is luffy making parts of his body bigger to boom and basically luffy does this by blowing himself okay see bro what the fuck
Now, gear three isn't really a transformation because, like I said, he just making his limbs bigger by blowing himself. But you not know saying he did call it his own little name, so we gonna count it as a transformation. You feel me? But hold on though, that should be gear one. That make more sense. You feel me? Like, bro, put me in a damn studio or whatever the fuck y'all call it for writing and shit. Luffy is five seven five eight, short and but then guess what? That's why gear three is so tough because even though he's so short, he can make a fist, and next thing you know, he's twenty feet six. Now you got a full speed. 4,000 pound fist coming out <laughs> who's actually 5'7 and that along with gear 2 is what Rob Lucci had to deal with lame man and the crazy thing about gear 3 is that it combines so well with like every other transformation bro can use gear 3 while using gear 2 he can use gear 3 while using all the other gears too he just be in the Tonka going bonkers Luffy jumps mad please don't ever do that three. I feel like if I was fighting him in the one piece verse I'd be like kind of like terrified because even if that fist doesn't like directly hit me is gonna cause like a big earthquake i might get touched no matter what but yeah that's gear three now here's gear four now with gear four there are three types of gear fours and all of the gear fours are cool except the last one i don't know what luffy was cooking with that one but we're <laughs> gonna start off with the first gear four gear four bounce man Woo now gear four bounce man is goofy i'm not gonna lie but it's goofy in a cool way it's like cool goofy it has just enough goofiness to still be considered cool even though bro gained like 600 pounds the form itself still looks cool in gear four bounce Bounceman is even cooler when that's the form that Luffy used to defeat this evil Anna. Bro said, yeah, for Bounceman. If I ever heard a nigga talking like that while fighting, bro, I'm clicking off. I was laughing by end his life. I mean, put him in prison, but yeah. The next Gear 4 is Gear 4 Snake Man. Now, Gear 4 Snake Man, in my opinion, is Luffy's second best transformation. Gear 4 Snake Man looks just like Gear 4 Bounce Man, except that Gear 4 Snake Man isn't 400,000 pounds. And Luffy's hair goes up. And because Luffy's hair goes up, it's time. So the form itself looks cool and plus this is the form that Luffy used to fight Katakuri. Now Katakuri is a 16 foot 8 dude who can see the future. He can stretch like Luffy, he can move like Luffy, not gonna lie he basically was Luffy. And Luffy what? used gear for a snake man to barely beat that so that speaks to how tough the transformation really is. If the motherfucker was just like Luffy, why he didn't use the same abilities? Snake man is tough and he booms people with it so you know what I'm saying? And lastly is Gear 4 Tank Man. Now, Gear 4 Tank Man, not gonna lie, Luffy, what the fuck? The look of the transformation is very questionable, but he did send Cracker flying all the way back to Big Mom looking at him. He did his job, so the transformation is valid somewhat, kind of. And yeah, that is all Gear 4 <laughs> transformations. Bounce Man, Snake Man, and Tank Man. Now, the last one we finna talk about, you already know, me. Gear 5. Woo now, Gear 5 Luffy is so tough. Oh my god. I'm finna cry. Oh, oh my the way god. White hair goes up is so tough, like Snake Man and the white stuff going around him. I have no idea what that is, but that's tough too. What is questionable? The cloud, is nigga. The fact that Luffy has the Nika Nika fruit, but his hair and clothes turn white, but hey. The transformation itself is still tough, bro. Is moving mad, goofy. Not gonna lie, you love to see it. You wanna know what else you love to see? How Luffy was doing Kaido in Gear 5. Woo bro, Luffy got up and said, This is my peak head, and then he enlarged his arm. Huh, gear 3 and just started violating Kaido. Bro was swinging him around. Bro was slamming him on the ground. Bro was knocking him <laughs> around town. It was just bad for Kaido. And then Luffy was just laughing at Kaido afterwards. Not gonna lie, if I was Kaido, I'd be sick. Imagine beating the same dude five times just for him to come back with his joy. Five times? You got your ass whooped five times? Tom's falling. E boy form and start folding you and then laughing at you. Not to mention Luffy turning Kaido into a cartoon. You see, the second Kaido loss was the second he fought the MC. If you are ever the main villain of an arc in an anime and you fight the MC, not gonna like count your days. You'll either die afterwards or your life will get significantly worse. <laughs> Downfall will come very, very soon. Not saying that Kaido lost or anything because you know what I'm saying I don't spoil stuff. You know what I'm saying so he cut the one, he cut a loss, but his downfall will come very soon probably. Maybe, I don't know. But nah, basically, Gear 5 is t When I was watching the episode at like 11 p.m., not gonna lie, I was levitating like 50 times. It truly was in its peak. I feel like, bro, my the back of my head gonna be tingling like a motherfucker if I ever get to those transformations. It look clean, not gonna lie. The shit goofy, but the fight's clean, not gonna lie.